It's 6.43 right now. Good morning and welcome back to News 3 this morning. It is time for Potentially Yours. Every Tuesday, we try and give pets at Dane County Humane Society a new place to call home. Marissa DeGroote from Dane County Humane Society is here with Cookie. Hello, little Cookie. And Cookie here. Yeah, tell <laughs> us about is, Cookie. Well, she is an absolutely gorgeous calico. I don't know if you can see that because she is deciding <laughs> just to lounge a little bit right mm -hmm. now. All the coloring is over here that you yeah, can't there see. there you go. Um, <laughs> and she is under a year old, and she's actually been with us since she was a very, very little kitty. Oh. Cookie has had quite the little adventure. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, even with all the kind of issues that she's faced, she is such a sweet girl. Um, so she came to us uh, again with her brothers and sisters. They are very little, and they went straight into our felines in treatment center because mm -hmm. they had ringworm. Okay. So after undergoing that treatment and getting all healthy, um, she actually went into a foster home after that because she was doing a bit of vomiting, and we mm -hmm. wanted to take that time to try to figure out what was going on with her. And now look at her. And now look She's at her. Ready so to go. we figured out what's going on, and um, she is oh. going to be a, a bit of a special girl. She'll mm -hmm. probably need a special diet and maybe a little bit of special meds. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she is so worth it. I imagine that because she's been with you for so long and all the all the other animals there that she gets along really well. Yes, with. she does. She would get along well, I think, with other cats mm -hmm. and maybe dogs, kids. And she's just one of those really fun cats. Mm -hmm. she, uh, maybe I wasn't quite ready to be doing all the playing this morning, but she certainly oh. was. <laughs> That's typical. She case. clearly likes attention, too, mm -hmm. with oh, yes. three different people petting her. <laughs> okay, so talk about the special cat um, event that you have going on this weekend. Yes, yeah, so it's Hunger we, Game Wildness. We are so Somebody excited. Somebody here is really excited, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> so you can adopt your very own Katniss uh, this Thursday through Sunday, and it's going to be at the main shelter and adoption center West. Adult and senior cats are going to be $11, and kittens are going to mm -hmm. be $20. So it's a really good deal on cats. We're really hoping to clear out the shelter, um, and we are hitting kind of a second kitten season. So are there really? are some kittens there, and there are some you know nice young adults like Cookie here. So um, I'm putting you on the spot, but how many do you think that you have at the main shelter? Um, it's hard to tell. We are moving some um, some kittens around so we may mm -hmm. be getting some more in from our foster home so it's hard to say oh, but okay. um, if you are interested <laughs> come in right away and kind of check out these awesome little kitties that we have boy you know the black on her is so it's so deep and oh, rich yeah. yeah I mean the coloring is just spectacular <laughs> and she there is so go. much fun I mean after everything she's been through, mm -hmm. she is just such a silly, fun little girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to see. All right, Marissa, thank you very <laughs> oh, much. Oh, thank you. All right, if you are interested in adopting or checking out other animals at Dane County Humane Society, go to GiveShelter.org, or you can call that phone number you see there on your screen to set up an appointment. All right, let's take a look now at two animals available at Green County Humane Society. First, we have Atticus, a three-year-old boy who loves to explore and sit by the window watching the birds cable TV for cats, as I like to call it. And then there is Toby, who's a, a new arrival, a five-month-old Weimaraner mix, Weimaraner mix, who's full of energy, is very curious. He was found on Bloom Lane in rural Monroe. Thank you.